So cervical cancer is the third most common cancer worldwide. And uh, it's a disease which develops slowly. And there is a lot of misnomers. I mean, the myths and uh, disbeliefs about this cervical cancer, that's because uh, they all think um, it is either overgraded or overrated. Like whenever there is white discharge, it will be cervical cancer and people get unnecessary hysterectomies done or they do not go. They are, they are very shy. They do not go to the doctor for any problems. And then the cancer, which is early or which is in stage one or pre-malignant goes to higher stages and maybe it, it becomes very difficult to treat or it may go to an advanced stage where the patient's mortality and morbidity increases. So uh, this routine pap smear is something which can really detect this. It's not something you see on the face or hands or legs, or it doesn't look like a swelling. So a routine pap smear has to be done. And this can be understood by taking a pap smear around the cervix and uh, then giving it for histopathology. Um, human papilloma virus is the main culprit of this cancer and approximately 90% of cervical cancers are uh, because of uh, this human papilloma virus and uh, it is sexually transmitted and HPV is associated with cervical cancer. The risk factors are early sexual life that happens at the age of 18 in our country when we see the statistics and in other countries it is even more earlier it starts around 14 or 15 and um, um, Infected person can transmit the disease. The, uh, the smoking is something which will is another cause and multiple sexual partners. And of course, immunity de depletion that is in the low socioeconomic group or in people with other um, morbidity like diabetes, hypertension, all those comorbidities, it can increase. And then of course, long-term uh, oral contraceptive pills. That is this long-term oral contraceptive pill will change the cervical mucus. So that is also thought to be one of the, uh, the cervical, uh, uh, the uh, culminary. Mm -hmm. to avoid early marriage. We have to educate our children to um, avoid early intercourse or um, uh, have only one sexual partner, no multiple sexual partner, improve genital hygiene and uh, periodically site, uh, screening has to be done and good obstetric care. When we say good obstetric care, we should repeated abortion should not be done. Uh, proper delivery, that is when we do forceps and all that, we have to see to it that it is sutured properly and avoid smoking and no harm in pregnancy. That is when we say no harm in pregnancies, one is repeated abortion should not be done. Second thing is in the, during delivery, if there is a cervical tear, if there is a forceps delivery, all these things can cause problems. So I think we should see to it that we avoid all those things. So vaccination. Vaccination, you have to take three shots over six months. Uh, males also, they are giving now because they harbor the HPV vaccine. Uh, females, of course, at the age of uh, 11 to 12, they say in India, we can give uh, 14 up to 14 years. And uh, up to 26 years, they say, but it can be given up to 45 years. So HPV vaccine, it's prophylactic cervical cancer vaccine, which targets the 16 and 18 HPV virus. And it is globally available in two vaccines, that is uh, Cervirax and Gardasil. Uh, 